they are two simple sawhorses that we made um, so I can support these heavy beams. The sawhorses that I had really weren't strong enough for this application so I had to make some new ones. And as you saw how I made them, they're really nothing that fancy. They're pretty simple, just one top piece, four legs and a couple of gussets. Um, that's really all they really need to be. Uh, there's a lot of different style of sawhorses out there, I-beam type sawhorses that cost a little bit more with a lot more pieces, true timber frame style sawhorses. And those are all great, but I need to make these pretty fast because I need to get going on this project. And I had material and this is kind of what I made them out of. And you saw me glue everything. The key to these sawhorses, the strength is the adhesive. I used polyurethane construction adhesive. I figured it was a better application in this instance over typical wood glue. But any woodworker is going to tell you that the key to any strong joint is the glue. And that's true. Don't rely just on fasteners, especially if you're building sawhorses to support some heavy stuff. Um, the key to the strength to these is the adhesive. So make sure that if you build something like this, always glue everything together. Glue is pretty cheap and it works awesome for this application or really anything you want to make super strong. As you can see it's getting dark on me um, so I'm gonna head in. Thanks for watching guys. Um, we're gonna be sawing on some timbers here next. That's the next thing to do. Uh, I think we got everything ready to go. Um, so stick around. If you're a first-time viewer make sure you stick around for the journey and we'll see you guys next time.